the off-grid family. Today we're going to be working on the uh, insulated rabbit hutch again. I'm going to finish um, off the door and get all that sorted out and then I'm going to work straight on with the roof. Um, I'm hoping this will be the last part but there might be one more after this just with a few bits to finish it off but we'll see. Anyway, let's get on with it. Well there's my sort of rectangle, it's not exact. Um, I did the best I could with the angles I could get at and then I um, used a flap disc and an angle grinder to just straighten it off the best I could. I've never been good with a jigsaw because number one I don't use it very often and number two it's a very very cheap one and the blade just likes to wobble. So it, you know, best I could do. Now I've got to start thinking about how I'm going to make the door and I want to be able to open and close it without having to go anywhere near it so it's going to be like on a stick of some kind but I haven't decided completely how I'm doing that yet. Okay, so I've measured out and spray painted a door for this, which will go here, like that. I've, I've already drilled the hinges out, but um, I found a piece of wood that it leaves the exact amount of room so that the door will shut fully, but not too far. So I need to screw these two pieces together before I do anything else. That's all screwed in now. I'm not gonna screw this in yet. I'm gonna um, put the door on and then I can get it exactly where I want it. So I'm gonna screw this on now. To connect the hinge to the door, I'm gonna use some small bolts. Now, I, uh, these are very, very cheap. These might go rusty really, really quickly. I was thinking about putting a batten along this bit of the thing so that it could all screw into it. But I don't really wanna do that. So I'm gonna try this way first. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, um, and I'll put a baton along, but I'd rather do it this way first. To avoid um, the wood all warping and going all horrible, you know, with wee poo and all that sort of thing, I bought these cheap stick-on um, vinyl squares, and I've got a huge amount of them. And what I'm going to do now is stick them like this. Now they are self-adhesive, but I don't trust that at all, so I'm going to be using some contact adhesive as well. Um, and what I'm going to try and do is aim for this being in the middle so that the second one will lip up just enough to protect the wood um, from any moisture you know they, they knock over their water and various other things as well so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the bottom of it and start sticking them in spray adhesives in there now I'm just waiting it for it to set a little bit to become touch dry that'll do Okay, it's not the most perfect job in the world, but it's gonna do what I need it to do. Okay, it's a really rough and ready thing, but it will just protect the wood. Unfortunately, I split it down here, um, just there, so I'm gonna have to put some filler in there. But um, I've got to do the walls as well, just at you know, the same level, so I'm just gonna cut a couple in half and sort them out. I finished the tiling on the inside. I know it's exquisite. I'm such a good tiler. You know, you can see here where there's huge gaps. Well done, me. Um, now I'm gonna work on the roof. Okay, so it's not ideal, but 
My roof is made up of um, four different pieces. Um, one long strip across the back and then these three at the front. And what I'm going to do next is get battens of wood and I'm going to connect all of the pieces together. Um, leaving a little bit of an overhang this side because I want that to hang over where the door is to stop more water coming in, well as much water coming in as I can. So first things first I'm going to screw these in to each constituent part and then I'm going to start latticing the other way and then I can start work on my angle. Okay so there's the rough frame, it's just basically holding the whole thing together so that it doesn't just fall apart every time you lift it. Next I now need to work on the angled area which is then going to have the roofing felt on I think. I was going to use feather edge on the roof but I think no matter what I do there will be leaks and so on if I use feather edge so I think I'll just continue using that just for the sides. Okay next what I've done is I've cut a few pieces of wood to go along here and this is to close up the gap when I plonk these on which are going to be the height I need to make it slope down. I've then cut these pieces of wood so that they will go something like that, obviously a bit, a bit more spread out and this will then hold the main pieces of wood that I'm using for the roof and I'm going to then before I put any more wood on on top of this, you know the actual flat sheets of wood, I'm going to fill this area and some of this area with insulation just to keep it so that in the area they're sleeping which is just underneath here the heat shouldn't be able to escape too easily but I need to start screwing it all in so I'm going to start with these back pieces okay so the backboard's on now um, and I've put a little tab along the edge here to allow for these to rest um, a little bit uh, better and now I can screw them into there as well so I'm going to put all these on next and then I'm going to start insulating the side I need to so these are now all on and you'll see that I've done two in the middle and that will that's for a reason all the bits of wood I've got don't quite cover the center and I have to put a piece of wood in between there so I need to now get all the wood on and sort it out in a way that I can then screw it all down that's as much coverage as I've got with these pieces of wood but I'm going to cut the ends off down here and then I can actually place the bits that have come out in the middle so I better get screwing them down and cutting the bits off I very nearly put all of the um, boards on before I put the fiberglass in. Now I'm wearing gloves because fiberglass can be extremely irritating to the skin. Over the years I've built up a tolerance but this is quite old fiberglass and I really don't want to be plastering my hands in it. Now as I say I don't need this across the entire roof, this is just to insulate the area where they're going to be sleeping. Okay so there you go, it's not rocket science you know, just plonk it in where you can. Now this stuff will be held in on its own, I won't need to do anything to this but I'm just going to get a, a staple gun and staple a couple into there just to stop it um, going forward because obviously this is the end of the roof. Okay, now I can put the roof on and the reason I'm not worried about it sort of overlapping too much here is because um, the roofing felt I'm going to use I'm going to wrap right underneath so it's going to be wrapped on all sides anyway. Okay so that's how I want them and then I'm going to use the offcuts as I say 
to hopefully fill the channels in. If not, I have got some more of this wood, but I don't want to cut a good piece up for this, you know? Now I'm going to have to countersink the holes so that there's nothing, no screws sticking up through the roofing felt because that can just cause big rips. Now I'm going to screw in this side and what I need to do is just follow the line of the this. Now I could draw a line down it but that's not my style, I'm just going to hit and hope basically. Okay, so that's that one basically on. I might do another couple of holes, a uh, couple of screws in the central beam. I'm not entirely sure yet, it just depends how. I work more like, I'll check it to see how solid it feels. If it feels fine, then I won't do anything. Right, okay, so I'm gonna screw in the rest and I'll be back with you. Next, I need to cut off the excess at the bottom and hope that there's enough of it to fill those gaps. So all I'm gonna do is turn the whole thing upside down. Now it's just a case of sawing along the dotted line. One. Well, as I was sawing, unfortunately, a bit snapped off, so it's not gonna be a nice clean cut as I thought, but it doesn't matter. It's not all about looks on this project. It's about functionality. So. Turn it back over. This is where the piece snapped off, so I'm gonna to have to clean up the edges a little bit because I don't want the roofing felt to actually, you know, start to rub away or whatever. Okay, there's the center pieces off um, that I cut along the edges. They're not great, you know, there's big gaps and so on, but it doesn't matter, the um, roofing stuff's gonna be put on top and you won't even notice. So I think that's my next job, covering it in roofing felt. Okay, so that's the end of part two. Part three will be out um, tomorrow, so see you then. <laughs>